Got another paper three question for you. So this one deals with the preparation of a pure organic liquid. It's got a percentage yield calculation and an unfamiliar mechanism. I hope you like the video and if you haven't already subscribed, you might want to think about subscribing to the channel. But anyway, as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. So you'll notice I've already drawn up the apparatus for the refluxing stage. So I'll just quickly talk through the essential parts to this. So first thing we need is a flask to heat up the reaction mixture in. So that can either be round bottom or pear shaped. Just be careful, there's no gaps here. So you don't want any vapors looking like they can escape out of the system. Obviously we need a heat source. So an arrow with the word heat is totally fine there. We've then got a condenser in a vertical position. Obviously that's labeled up there. And you've got to get the direction of water flow in the correct, correct way. So it's got to go in at the bottom and it's got to come out at the top. And the reason I've highlighted the top here is that must be kept open. So we'll do the percentage yield calculation next. So there's the equation for the reaction. I haven't asked for that, but I'm going to talk about it in the uh, calculation. Uh, the HBr has come from the mixture of sodium bromide and sulfuric acid. That's what's actually reacting with the alcohol. So the first thing we can do is calculate the moles of butane one all from mass over MR, which comes out at 0.125 moles. Now, if we look at the ratio, we'd expect to make the same number of moles of product. Obviously, what we need to do now is calculate the moles of product we actually made and express that as a percentage. So in terms of the one bromobutane, we were told we uh, the student made 6.10 cm cubed. So that's not mass, is it? So we're going to need to use the density information to turn that into grams. So mass equals volume times density, which means the students managed to make 7.7348 grams of the one bromobutane. Now we we'll turn that into moles, mass over MR again which comes out at 0 0.0565 moles. Percentage yield is the actual over the expected multiplied by 100, which gives a percentage yield of 45.2%. And then we'll just finish off with the purification part. So they're going to add the mixture, the reaction mixture to a separating funnel. They're going to allow the layers to separate out. The density information was given in the table, so just look at that. So you can see one bromobutane has got a higher density, so that's going to be the lower layer. So they're going to collect the lower layer that contains that one bromobutane. They're going to add a drying agent to remove any last traces of water. The one I always mention is this one, anhydrous calcium chloride. Obviously there are others, but that's the one I just um, tend to remember. And then once you've got rid of the water, you distill and collect the fraction that boils at the boiling point, again, that was given in the table for the product, 102 degrees C. And finally, part B, this unfamiliar mechanism. So there's my butane one all, there's the proton, the H plus ion. So how do we get this positively charged intermediate? Remember, there's a couple of lone pairs on the oxygen. We just need to use one of them. And we're going to bring a curly arrow from the lone pair on the oxygen and grab that H plus ion, which is going to generate that. And then in step two, we're told the bromide ions react with the intermediate um, by nucleophilic substitution uh, to form the one bromobutane. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. The sort of straightforward way is to take the uh, curly arrow from the pair of electrons on the Br minus ion to this carbon here and then we just need to boot off that um, H2O part by a curly arrow from that bond there which would obviously give the one bromobutane and an H2O molecule. Alternatively the other way you can do it is you can lose the H2O first and that would generate this ion here and the H2O molecule and then bring the Br- ion into play and then the curly arrow to that carbon with the positive charge from the lone pair, which would obviously generate the product that way. 
So either way is fine. I would do it the other, the first way, to be honest with you. But that was fine as well. 